guys. Um, I am opening a package from the Phoenix pack today. And I apologize, I'm not really looking the greatest and this video probably will not be my awesomest video, but that is just because um, I am kind of in the middle of a depressive episode. Um, but, you know, we're working on it. <laughs> so um, I bought this a little while ago from the Phoenix Packs pre-made sale. Um, she did a pre-made sale to help raise money for Ukraine, which I think is really sweet. And if my shop had a working machine, I definitely would do something similar. So uh, I thought that that was really sweet of her to do. And this is an amazing harness. So I got it. So here it is. Um, we do have one Phoenix Pack harness from her already. That was a custom one that we did a little while ago. Um, and we love it so far. He hasn't been able to wear it too much just because we haven't like gone to too much. They are a super sweet shop and we really like supporting them. So and they're actually, now they're actually partnered with our shop. So Dancing Paws Co is our shop. So if you want to get a Phoenix pack harness, but you want custom patches for it, um, that's not a service that Phoenix pack offers, but it is a service that Dancing Paws Co offers. So if, um, so they're partnered. So if you want to get custom patches on your Phoenix pack harness, you can contact the Phoenix pack and they will give you their discount code to use on a set of custom patches from Dancing Paws Co. And then once you order from Dancing Paws Co, we ship it to the Phoenix pack and they put it on your harness so that you get everything all together. So here we have the harness. I, I really had to snap this one up. Everybody wanted it, but I somehow got it first. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah. Oh, that is just adorable. Oh, I am dying. It is so cute. It's got a little bow tie and little teeny buttons. Oh, that's just genius. How did she come up with this? Oh, it's so cute. And it's got all the attachments we need. It has our counterbalance attachments and then it has bunny ears, which I did not get on my last harness, but I kind of wish that I did. So, um, and it has the Velcro spots. So, um, let's try it on the puppy. So there it is. He's standing very still. Thank you, Arlo. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, just beautiful craftsmanship as always. I absolutely love it. I, I really hope that she makes more of these because this is something that isn't really tapped into in the gear making world. I feel like right now they do have a lot of like, they have like maybe some like vests that have like printed tuxedo patterns and stuff, but they don't really have like, you know, actual little tuxedo vests. And it's just so cute. I love it. And it's a mobility harness, so we can actually use it because a lot of the tuxedo harnesses and stuff that I've seen, they're like, they have to be capes because otherwise they don't work. So this is just an awesome choice for us. Are you a good boy, Arlo? Do you like it? Okay, free. Arlo, free. Come here. Very cute. It's very beautiful. And he's trying to heal automatically because now he's in a harness. But um, it's just so nice. And it's obviously got the little Phoenix Pack tag and the feather, which we love on our other one. And it's just, oh, it's so cute. I love it. So... Thank you, Brandy, as always. It is adorable. It is beautiful. I will try to get some pictures of him in it um, to include, like, of him actually out working. This is going to be really nice because, if you guys don't know, I do judge forensics tournaments, which is, um, you know, you have to kind of dress up. So normally I always dress up and then Arlo is just wearing, like, his leather harness, which is relatively professional. But I think that people will find this really funny and really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye.